So we're back with the deciding match between Luca Marini at the bottom and Eric Heldon at the top. Both of these are uh, ones on Eric's on Reanimator, which is what the cards we see on screen at the moment, and Luca is on Sneak Attack. Um, again, I'm not a, a Legacy. I don't know much about Legacy. Yeah, he doesn't keep that one. This one, he can Seething Song turn. He can do it turn one actually to get the sneak attack. So he's going to keep that one. He's kind of at a risk here because can Eric go off on turn one? Let's have a look. Oh, Thought Seize is going to hurt. What does he take here? I think you take the Seething Song because he can still, or you could take the Lotus Petal to cut him off of mana. But uh, I think it's Seething Song has to go because if he takes a se the Sneak Attack, he can still Seething Song for about a Skull next turn. Whereas the end product here, the best the best that Luke has got is a Batter Skull. So se Seething Song will stop him from being able to play the Batter Skull, and that's what that's what Eric takes. So the turn one thought season and pass the turn. So what's what, what does Luca want to do next turn? As we look at Eric's play here, Eric doesn't actually have any um, reanimation targets yet. Next turn he's going to be able to bury it alive to get them. So what does he take this time? Sneak attack, I think. Although a batter skull can come down. I... He might not have artifact answers. This one here, I'm not sure. This is where my legacy newbiness comes in. I'd be inclined to take a batter skull. And that's what he takes, a batter skull. Because either either way, uh, Luca could have played two batter skulls. Now that he's got the city of traders, and he's going to give up the lotus petal to play it. So what's Eric going to do here? He can dark ritual. Does he want a dark ritual, or does he want to use the lotus petal to get the black? He just passes the turn. I'm a bit surprised there. And the beatdowns are going to start from Luca. It's a three turn clock, but three turns is an eternity in Legacy. Okay, he's got an Entomb now, so I think he can go off this turn. He passes the turn again, I'm confused. He can Dark Ritual, he can play Lotus Petal for the Dark Ritual, use the three mana to get the Buried Alive and then use the Entomb. Oh, he doesn't have the card to bring it back, so I was reading Entomb wrong. So both Entomb and Buried Alive will get him the cards, he's going to end turn Entomb. What's he going to find? He's two turns to win this. Puts Grizzlebrand, so he's going for the life gain. Oh, Exhume. Well, Batter Skull sitting in there is an artifact, it's not a creature. So Exhume's going to get back um, the Grizzlebrand. How's he going to do this? Okay, he's going to float it for the Dark Ritual. I'm not sure why he couldn't have done this a few turns back. See what he's going to put in there. Exhume is sorcery, so hopefully he's not putting Emrakul, the, the Eon's Torn, in, into his graveyard. Uh, we, we've seen him do that before. 
Okay, let's see what he's got. Elish Norn, Chancellor. I think he's going to go to the... Uh, no, not the Elish Norn. Oh, he want, really wants Iona. I think he takes Grizzlebrand. Grizzlebrand's going to outclass the better skulls. Put him up to 14 here. But you look at his hand now, he's got nothing going on. So if Luca has, has some sort of answer for Grizzlebrand, he can win this match. I say I say he's got nothing going on, but he can actually minus... I think he can't minus 7. Uh, he can actually... He's going to put him up to 14 and drop Luca to 19. So Batter Skull's not getting the job done now. And the problem for Luca, he's, he's still two cards away from doing anything. He, well, actually, no, he's got the Lotus Petal for the Red Source. So if he can top deck an Emrakul here, he can throw the Breach the Emrakul and it will get him the win. As I don't know if I would have... Eric's just drawn the cards on his own turn. Okay, he, he can do it this time. He can play the Bloodstained Mire. How's he playing that? I think he's somehow got to get rid of Iona. If he can get rid of Iona so that he can reanimate it, then choose red, then that's the game. But he's going to take through the Breach here anyway. Yeah, he took through the Breach. So, so now, now Luca needs two red sources. One to cast a sneak attack and one to activate it. Which means he also needs a target for the sneak attack. So he needs to, at least the next two cards to go exactly his way. Okay, now he's got the Iona into his graveyard. And he has a way to bring it back, Exhume. And yeah, he can bring Iona back now, pick red, and this game is over. Yeah, it brings back Iona. Um, I don't see where it says... Oh, yeah, he chose red. Okay, so I think there's no way out of this now for Luca. Chalice way too late. And Luca's conceded, and Wim, uh, Eric Helden takes all three games, getting Legacy two games to one.